This practical will show you how to estimate the chloride content of seawater. So firstly, a seawater sample was collected, and this is a very high level of chloride ions. So I want to carry out a dilution. So I'll just put a bit of the seawater into a beaker, and I'm going to do a 1 in 10 dilution. So I've got a 100 milliliter volumetric flask, and I've got a 10 milliliter pipette, and I'll just measure up 10 milliliters of the seawater solution. So once you measure this, you want to get it so that the top of the meniscus is right where the line is, to so try and get level with it. Just put that into the flask now. And I can move the seawater out of the way. For the last little drop, just touch it to the side. That should get it off. I'm going to be using this pipette in a minute, so I'm just going to give it a quick rinse into a waste beaker with distilled water. Out of the way. So now I want to fill my volumetric flask to the line with distilled water. So first you can fill it quite fast. And you want to keep your eye level with it so you can see in the bottom of the meniscus, is equal with the line. And I'll just give it a mix. So when you come to do this, you'll have to do multiple titrations so you can get an accurate endpoint where you get two or more readings that have the same value. But I'm just going to show you what to do with one. So I'll take the 10 mil pipette and I'm going to draw up a tiny bit of the salt solution and just tip pipette and pour it into the waste beaker. So this has now essentially lined my pipette with the sodium or seawater solution. And now I'm just going to fill up 10 milliliters like I did earlier, ensuring that the bottom It's now 10 millilitres and I'll put it into my first conical flask. You can choose to put it into all of yours at the same time. Just get the last drop out and set the pet to the side. Next step is to prepare your burette. So the solution you're going to be titrating in is a silver nitrate solution. This reacts with the chloride in the seawater to create a silver chloride. So before I open this, I'm just going to put on gloves and glasses because sodium nitrate is an irritant to both the eyes and the skin. If you drop it on the skin or even on the desk, you get a brown stain. So if you drop any, just clean it up afterwards. So I'll t firstly, ensure the tap is closed on my burette, and I'll bring it down as low as I can, just to make pouring it a bit easier. You can even drop it off the end of the table. I'm just going to pour some in. 
you don't have to get it so the line is exactly at the zero mark. You, as long as you take taken notice of where your initial reading starts from. So I'm just going to take it just beyond zero. Close it over. And then I've got a beaker for the silver nitrate waste. Firstly, I'm going to put this underneath and run it down to where it's at zero. There we go. And then I'll just put my funnel into my baker. Before I start the titration, you then have to add your indicator. So for this experiment, potassium chromate indicator is used. It's also an irritant, and so again, just be careful that you don't spill it. So I'm going to add 10 drops. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Give it a bit of a swirl to mix it, and you can see it's a yellow color to start with. At this point, you take note of your durette, just so you have your initial reading, and then start to titrate. So open it with one hand and spin it with the other. You can hopefully see there's a little sort of red color starting to form. So the, firstly, this is, titration is done sort of in two stages. So initially, your silver nitrate will react with all the sodium chloride to produce a sort silver chloride. That's why it's gone sort of a cloudy yellow as opposed to the starting yellow. That's a silver chloride precipitate being formed. So firstly the silver nitrate will react with all the silver nitrate and you can see as I add quite a bit there's a pink color that comes in. That's because the chromium ion from your potassium chromate indicator is reacting. And our end point will be when we get this constant pink color. Just add a few drops at a time. So the pink color is starting to get harder to go, so I think I'm, I'm going to add just a drop. And now the pink color has stayed. That's the end point for this titration. So I will take a note of my final burette reading. And at this point, um, you would carry out your other titrations. And using the titer, you can calculate how much chloride ions are in the seawater. Because of the silver compound in here, it cannot just be poured down the sink. So just keep all of your conical flasks for the technician to dispose of correctly. That's the end of this video.